Welcome back to HP hey guys, Kids. What's up? It's the last week of June. We have some exciting news for you. But Sarah. it is our first week back in person. First week. So excited. Yeah, so if you did not know, we started elementary service on campus that you can come to. This Sunday was the first Sunday ever. So, but don't worry, we're still doing online services through the end of July. So, so make you have sure that. to stay tuned with us as we talk about focus in July also. And we're focusing on our faith this month. And faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. See, when you when you trust in something, you need to be able to, or in someone, you need to be able to know that they are trustworthy, that you can 100% count on them in whatever you need them for. And with God, it's we can 100% count on Him. We can have faith in Him that He'll come through, that He will be there for us whenever we need Him to, because He's God and He loves us so much. So I want to challenge you this week to focus on God and focus focus on the truth that He is there for you and He loves you. And one way that we're going to focus on God today is through praise and worship. So everyone stand up on your feet and get ready to praise and worship God today. Yeah, and before we do that, I do want to say a quick prayer. But before we say a quick prayer, I also want to say, although this seems repetitive and it seems like we worship, we do this thing every single week, it's so imperative that you do it. It's so important that you worship God, that, that you put your focus on Him and that you um, sing praises to Him. So. I don't don't just stand up just to stand up stand up and worship and be thankful that you get the get the chance to worship God today so with that said let's pray real quick and we'll go into worship so take off your hat if you have a hat let's get it uh, father thank you for today thank you for who you are thank you that you love us so much thank you that uh, we have this opportunity to worship you uh, freely and to just come in your presence father and so I just pray that you uh, be with the kids watching be with the families watching father I pray that you impact them in a big way and we just ask this all your name everybody said amen, amen. let's, let's worship. worship. spoke a word you were singing over me you have been so so good to me before I took a breath you breathed your life in me you have been so so kind to me.
Hello, kids. It's time for another rousing game of Where's Brando? See if you can help me find him. Oh, ha ha! Is Brando underneath this chicken? No, he is not! Is Brando next to this table tennis court? No, he is not! Is Brando underneath this desk? No, he is not! Is Brando hiding underneath this robot helmet? Mm. No! No, he is not! <laughs> where is Brando? Seriously, where is Brando? Yes. <laughs> Coconuts, am I right? I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm John, and welcome to the So-and-So Show. Popsicles, am I right? Brandon, Brandon what are you doing? Where did, where did you get that popsicle? Oh, Longbeard Carl left it in the studio a couple weeks ago. What are you doing now? Just enjoying the summertime, my friend. Yeah, but you don't need sunscreen inside. I know, but don't you just love the smell of it? It's like the smell of summer. Uh, see? Ugh. Ugh. Does it's, that smell like summer? No, it smells like my Aunt Agatha's beach house. Oh, what's the difference? Hey! What's, what's the, the difference? difference? What's the difference? So, in this game, we're going to see two photographs that look the same, but really aren't. Yep, and whoever finds what's different first wins. Oh, 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 oh I'm so going to win. I wouldn't be too sure. Uh -huh. Let's go. All right. Ah, uh, summer. That's what my arm smells like. Mm -hmm. We look like we're having a good time, John. Yeah, but these photos look exactly the same. I can't see anything that looks... Uh, uh, no. Wait. Got it. On the left picture... There's a sun in the sky, and there are people playing in the water. And on the right picture, it has no sun, and there are no people in the water. Oh! Well, good observation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, next photo. Cool. Now we're at the pool. I could sure use a dip right now. What about you, John? No time. Focused on the game. Sure. Hey, but don't forget to have fun. It's only a game. Oh, in the first photo, my face is sometimes sad, sometimes angry. In the second photo, my expression is more perplexed and pensive. Oh! Wow. That's a very subtle difference. Yeah, there's nothing subtle about it. Next. Uh, looks like a good day for a picnic. <laughs> Concentrating. 13, 14, 15. What are you counting? The blades of grass in each picture. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's going to take you all day. Can't we just look for Got something? Got it! In the right photo, I am smiling slightly wider than in the left photo. What? No, no, zoom in to a close up. See? In this one, I'm like, and in this one, I'm like, like that. they're different. Or, there are clouds in the photo on the left, but no clouds on the right. Ha! Oh, man. And the winner is John. <laughs> oh, yes. yes, best two. Why? That was best two out of three, buddy. So why'd we even do the third photo? You'd already won. I know. I just I love winning. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Bible stories are so fun. I get to tell them to everyone. Hey, 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 guys. Um, what's up? Hey, Kellen. Yeah, sounded good, Kellen. Thanks. Hey, what's the story about? 
Today's story is about the time when Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, met Cornelius, a commander in the Roman army. And here to help me tell the story are the so-and-so show players. I am so and so excited. Can we play the game again? This story happened sometime after Jesus had died and come back to life, which, by the way, is still an amazing thing to think about. It was so amazing that many people believed in Jesus just because of what they heard about him. But here's something you may not have known. Many Jesus followers at the time thought you had to be Jewish before you could follow Jesus. In fact, there were laws that said Jewish people and non-Jewish people, or Gentiles, couldn't even hang out together. So our story begins in the home of a Gentile, the Roman commander Cornelius, about three o'clock in the afternoon. I wonder what time it is. I'm guessing three o'clock in the afternoon, huh? Hey, that's right. Cornelius. Whoa, what is it, Lord? Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like offerings to God, and he has remembered you. <sighs> Send men to Joppa, and have them bring back a man called Peter. Okay. <laughs> so Cornelius sent three men to Joppa to find Peter. Around noon the next day, Peter was on the roof praying when he got really, really hungry. Lord, you are faithful. I pray that you, whoa, I'm hungry. I wonder if lunch is ready yet. Whoa. I'm hungrier than I thought I was. Peter had a vision. He saw something like a sheet being let down from heaven. Uh, where are we? I think we're on this guy's roof. Hey, who is that guy? In his vision, Peter saw animals of all kinds in the sheet. They probably weren't talking animals, but they were the kind of animals that would have been against the law for Peter to eat. As Peter watched, he heard a voice. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. What did that voice say? Kill and eat. Oh. Wait, us? No, Lord, I won't do it. I I've never eaten anything that isn't pure and clean. Do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. Whose side are you on here, vision voice? The vision was repeated three times. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm dizzy and confused. Are you gonna eat us or not? Then the sheet was immediately taken back up to heaven. Hang on! <laughs> what could this vision mean? At that very moment, the three men Cornelius sent to find Peter arrived. And the next day, Peter went with them to Cornelius' house. You're here. Oh, stand up. I, look, I'm a human being, just like oh. everybody else. I've brought all of my family and all of my friends to hear what you have to say. Go on, say hello, everybody. Hello, Peter! Uh, hello, everyone. It's, it's nice to meet you. Um... You know it's against our law for me, a Jew, to enter the home of a Gentile, or to even be close to one. But God has showed me that I shouldn't say that anyone is unclean. And that, that's why I'm here. I, I realize now that God treats everyone the same. He accepts people from every nation who have respect for him and do what's right. Peter told them all about Jesus. And he told them how anyone who believes in Jesus Jew or Gentile, will be saved. While Peter was speaking, the Holy Spirit came on everyone in the house who heard the message. Yeah. Hallelujah! This is the best day of my life. I forgot to change my costume. Oh, man. Well, surely no one can keep these people from being baptized. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> 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 yeah! Yeah! Woo! Oh, I did it! Thank you! Thank you! Not sure baptism worked like that back then, but everyone who believed in Jesus was baptized that day. After staying with Cornelius for a few days, 
Peter left to spread the word that faith in Jesus wasn't just for people like him, but for everyone. The end. That's a great story, Kellen. Yeah, and well done, so-and-so show players. That was so cool, but, but I'm wondering, uh, would we have ever heard about Jesus if Peter hadn't had that weird vision? That's a really good question. Before that vision, Peter thought Jesus was only for people who were the same as him. Yeah, but now we know Jesus came for everyone, even different people like us. Yeah, <laughs> and we are way different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, doesn't matter where you were born or the color of your skin or how different you are. We can put our faith in the same savior. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Thank you, Kellen. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Hey, bye, Kellen. Man, I really love that. No kidding. The so-and-so show players are the best. Mm -hmm. Reveal the question. Oh, hey, what are some ways people are different from each other? Yeah, it could be the way people look. Oh, like hair color or nostril shape. Mine are crooked. Oh, how about that? Yeah, or it could be other things too, like uh, what subject in school people are good at or how many brothers and sisters people have? Yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Yeah, so you guys talk it out. What are some ways people are different from each other? And we will see you next time. Yes, I am John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So-and-So Show. <laughs> are we different from each other? I'm pretty, yeah, we're very different. You think so? How? Yeah. I love Jesus. He's so cool. Out of the Bible. It's so cool. I get to tell it after school. Psych at church. It's so cool. Can I finish a minute? Let me dance. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the vision that God gave Peter was amazing and he paid really close attention to what it meant. See, basically God was telling Peter that Jesus is for everyone, not just one specific person, but he's for every single person in the world. And that gave uh, Peter the courage to go and to do something he's never done before. He went to the house of a non-Jewish person. And because of, and he did that because Jesus is for everyone. Yeah, and you see, if you think about it, how did we learn about Jesus? Someone came and told us, and that was part of God's plan the whole time. It was for us to take what we know that someone else told us and go tell other people about the good news of Jesus and of God. Yeah, see, in the beginning, God told Abraham that he would bless his family for many, many, many years to come. And then eventually Jesus came and he died for us. He died for every single person on this world, not for one person, but all of us, for every single one. And that actually leads us to today's bottom line. Knowing Jesus changes the way you see others. That was certainly true for Peter and it's very true for us too. We can see others the way God sees everyone in this world. We are supposed to focus on the good things in them and love on them just the way God loves on us. Yeah, and remember, focus on God and what he's doing in your life and others' lives. Love him with all your heart because he loves you and he's come for all of us. So. That's it for today. Um, we have one announcement again. We just want to remind you that we are back today, this Sunday. Uh, in we have, person. Yeah, in person. We have services 9 and 1030. You can come to it with your families if you want. If not, that's totally okay. We'll still be online too. Um, or if you want to do both, that's awesome too. True. But before we get going, um, as I said earlier in worship, we do stuff that's kind of repetitive, but it's we do it because it's important and it's powerful. And we believe that the Lord wants to do something in your families at home. And so that's prayer partners. So. Um, at this time, if you want to gather all your family, bring them um, in the room. Bring them in the room, get in a circle, and just gather around and pray for one another. Um, and we just we're praying over that time for you guys as families. And we hope to see you soon. Yeah, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>